How's it? Indian Cowboy Doc Sports .com. on Saturday, February 3rd, as we get this video to you. Have your free play selection in just a second. I know it's a late video for you, uh, but I found something that I thought was pretty good. So it goes off at 10 o'clock, so you got about two hours and 15 minutes or so to get it in. But uh, unless you do an in-game. Uh, but I have three thoughts for you. I'll try to get tomorrow's video out for you much, much earlier. But I don't want to try to miss a video. I try to do a video every day if I possibly can. Hello, I'm Indian Cowboy. This is Doc Sports. Indian Cowboy has been around for 19 years, and Doc Sports has been around for 53 years. How this works, our best selections are over at DocSports.com under Arun Shiva. And uh, we also have a YouTube premium channel where I give you, I'm going to have a live show tonight at 930 actually. And then YouTube premium becomes only a once a week type of thing on a Thursday night, but I will hook you up on Thursday night for Friday's ball games. Uh, for sure, I'm sure you'll talk about a college basketball game or an NBA game that uh, that I really like. So you get a basic huge hookup and it's a 45 minute show, which is an awesome podcast. You get to talk about all the Friday, Saturday, Sundays games, and a lot of hookups will be on it. And for a pot, four podcasts for a month for 20 bucks, not to mention hookups on for Friday's games, it's pretty amazing. So sign up for that as well. Free $60 with a premium selection in the link below as well. If you want even more content, hop onto our Twitter, has our consensus reports, our trends on late night ball games, and our hot takes on sports. So we had a five-unit college basketball selection today um, between Iowa State. And normally uh, what I do is... Uh, I give you up to eight free basketball selections. Um, so normally I, I typically do that. Today's, um, but I'm not doing that today. Today I'll have three, but I think all three of them are pretty good. My five unit goes off at eight o'clock, which I'm looking forward to. We had a great five unit winner yesterday. Niagara plus the three and a half over St. Peter's and they won out, right? That was on Friday. On Thursday, we gave you a five unit selection on Stanford over Arizona State. And that was a winner. Note that we are on a nine and two college basketball run, six and one and nine and two college basketball run for plus three thousand. In the NBA, we had a huge uh, seven unit winner on the Pacer on the Kings routing the Pacers, and then the day before it was a five unit winner or four unit winner on the Lakers beating the Celtics outright. So back to back perfect college ba back to back perfect college basketball NBA days. On top of that, we had a seven unit MMA winner today. We're now six and zero oh on the MMA season, and we had a golf winner yesterday as well. Uh, so let it be college basketball, NBA, MMA, hockey, soccer, which is on a 9-3 run. All of it is going really well. So looking forward to continuing that great run. So looking forward to joining us on all of the above. All right. So let's get to your free play winner today. I'm sorry I only have three, but they're good. And I think you'll like them. So I always try to hook you up with as much as I can every single day. Uh, I like UCLA plus the points here. I think UCLA wins this game outright. Could be wrong, but I think they win this game outright. See, when you look at Mike Cronin's team here, and I'm going to take some time and talk to you about this game and every game. I don't want to rush through it if I, if I don't have to. I like UCLA plus the two, two and a half. I get that everybody likes Oregon here, and that's fine. But I want you to take a look at UCLA. They're 10 and 11, right? Last year, they were 31 and 6. But they had a lot of upperclassmen last year. This year, they're very, very young. They're led by, what, three freshmen and two sophomores? Yes, they are 10 and 11. However, they beat USC. They beat Oregon State. They beat USC 65 to 50. They won four out of their last five conference games. I understand they're under 500, but that's not the true story. This team lost to Ohio State by seven. This team lost to Gonzaga by four. This team lost to Marquette by uh, two. This team, I understand they lost to Cal State Northridge. This team lost to Oregon earlier this year by five. So they have immediate revenge at home, okay? They lost to Stanford, who's actually pretty decent, by six. This team is much better than people give them. Their only bad loss was to Utah on the road, and that's because they were, Utah had like revenge after losing to them like six or seven times in a row. So now this team is there's still a top four 35 defense, which is exceptional for such a young team. This team is going to be so good next year. They have immediate revenge. I like the fact that Oregon rolls into this game after beating USC on the road. Uh, Oregon is really suspect on the road anyway. They did beat USC on the road, but they had lost to Utah and Colorado prior to that, and they had a tight game against Washington State. I think that UCLA plus the two and a half makes sense here, and I'm going to take them. Your other lean today is I like this game too. I almost made it my free play, but it's a total, so I stayed away. But I like St. Mary's and Gonzaga under. 17 and 6, 16 and 5 teams hooking up here. Gonzaga beat this team 77 51 the last time these two teams met. Mount St. Mary's is a fantastic 8 0 in conference play, including drilling San Francisco by 17 on the road, who's a top 70 team. Gonzaga beat the snot out of Loyola Marymount last game, scoring 92 points, and I think they have a big offensive letdown here. Notice the line is only 4.5 points here. You have a top 35 defense and a top 20 defense hooking up here, especially with Gonzaga coming off a 90 plus point game in their last game. That's why St. Mary's should do well with revenge with their lockdown defense, and therefore, I like the under. You're getting a top 30 and a top 25 defense, and it's a good public fade. Give me the under today between St. Mary's and Gonzaga. Colorado State Fresno, 
State. I like Fresno State. 16 and 5, 9 and 11 teams. I'm taking the points here. Colorado State has 10 plus wins in a row. Um, I get that um, against uh, this particular team. But Colorado State just beat San Diego State by eight. They had lost back to back games prior to that. They beat New Mexico by eight. They beat Creighton, Colorado, and Washington. All that's gravy. Fresno State lost to UNLV by nine points. But Fresno State had a tight loss to Boise State. And Colorado State can be fickle. Uh, I mean, they lost to Wyoming on the road, who's outside the top 140. They've lost four straight road games as well. Give me Fresno State, uh, who only lost to Boise State by four points at home. I'll take Fresno State plus the points. So your free play selection today is on UCLA. I gave you a lean on St. Mary's and Gonzaga under, and I gave you Colorado, and I gave you Fresno State as well. And I'll try to give you more content tomorrow. Try to get that video out to you early. Remember, all these games go off at 10 and 11 o'clock. Please stay more like and subscribe, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Indian Cowboy, working hard for every single day. YouTube Premium, I'll see you on the live show tonight at 9.30. And then your YouTube premium is going to be every Thursday night at 9.30 with hookups on Friday and for the weekend. All right, take care. And it's an extended recorded live show for 45 minutes. You can listen to it anytime. Bye-bye.